What's up guys, Justin here with the RenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can create plan views and elevations inside of Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is an example model out of SketchUp that we've brought into Lumion. It's the LA House by SZ Kristoff from the 3D warehouse in SketchUp. So if you wanna follow along, you can download this model and follow along. But what we wanna talk about in this particular case is we wanna talk about how to talk to how to create plan and elevation views, as well as adding a section cut to your renderings. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about how to just create like a regular plan view, like a straight up and down without doing section cuts or anything like that. And so unfortunately there's no just setting for this inside of Lumion. So what you end up doing instead is you end up going into photo render mode and you create a view um, by adjusting the focal length. So if you remember, we can use the focal length to adjust how much you can see with the camera. Well, one thing you can do in this particular situation is you can actually use this to fake kind of a no perspective or parallel projection view um, by turning the focal length all the way up. And one thing I would recommend before doing this is go ahead and fly your camera over top of your building, kind of like this, um, so that you're kind of looking down at the building. Otherwise, you're gonna lose your building and this is gonna get kind of complicated. Um, so what we wanna do in this particular situation is we wanna go in and we wanna take this focal length, we wanna adjust it all the way up to 300. And so when we adjust that all the way up to 300, one thing you're gonna notice is that really, really zooms your camera view in. And so in order to get around that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna edit our eye level. And we're gonna put this at a much higher height. So maybe something like 500 or something like that. So, and you can see how right now this is super blurry. And the reason this is super blurry is because my effects stack that I have in here has a depth of field effect. And we're so far out from this view that the depth of field is making it look blurry and not very, uh, not very realistic. So we're just gonna go into our effects stack and we're just gonna turn off depth of field. You can see how as soon as you do that, you can now get in here and you can fly around and you can kind of adjust this view. And I will notice there's not a whole, I mean, I've got very slow control over, uh, over like uh, rotation and stuff like that with my camera. So um, there's not a whole lot of moving around, um, but you're gonna wanna just kind of center this inside of your camera view. And then from there, you can come in here and you can use things like your shadow settings to adjust the way your shadows are gonna look. So you can adjust your shadow range so you can get more or less. And then you can also add a sun effect. So if I was to come in here and click on sun so that you can adjust where those shadows are gonna be. So you can adjust where those fall inside of your rendering by adjusting the sun heading. You can also adjust the way this looks by adjusting your sun brightness. These shadows look kind of blocky, but they render out just fine. So if I was to take this, I'm probably gonna go ahead and save this camera view. So I'm just gonna click store camera. And then apparently that didn't bring over my effects. So we're just gonna go back into our photo two that we had before and we're just gonna copy our effects and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna paste them right there. So you can copy effects across both, across multiple different scenes. But now we're just gonna render this out. And you're gonna notice when you render this out, that your shadows will actually get really smooth in here. So these are gonna smooth out as it comes in here and does this. You might be able to adjust your sun disk size in order to get those shadows even more smooth. You can see how you can create an elevation view really easily, or a plan view really easily by doing this. It's kind of a workaround, but I feel like it still, work, still works pretty good. And uh, one thing to notice is when you go back into build mode, your camera is probably gonna be like way out here. So you're gonna have to fly back in. Um, but so let's say not only did you want to create a plan view of the outside of your house, let's say that you wanted to see the interior of your house as well. Well, the way that you would do that is you would add an object inside of Lumion called a clipping plane. And so to do that, you're just gonna go into place mode and you wanna go inside of lights and utilities 
under the utilities section. And there's actually an item in here for clip plane that you can add. So I'm just gonna click on clip plane, and then I'm gonna move my mouse inside of my model, and I'm just gonna click somewhere in my model. So probably about right here. And so I'm not 100% sure why this effect does not like this model. I don't know why it doesn't wanna clip across this model, but it's not doing it. Maybe one of you knows, maybe you've run into this before. Um, I cannot get that to work on this particular model, so we're just gonna jump into another one real quick. So I'm just gonna go into my example models and I'm just gonna bring in um, this model right here in the middle. So this is another one of the Lumion example models, but we should be able to use this in order to demonstrate the way the clipping plane works. So to do that, you're just gonna go into place mode, you're gonna pick utilities, and like I said, if anybody has any idea why that wouldn't work in my other model, I'd love to hear it. But for this one, um, you can see how I can just bring this clipping plane in, move my mouse over this, and I can click wherever I want in order to take kind of a section cut view across this building. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna take this cut right about at the height of my kitchen. And so if I was to fly in here and probably uh, click another one of these sections, like nature or something like that, now I can kind of preview what this is gonna look like. I guess not even then. Um, this this shows up whenever you're uh, whenever you're rotating and moving around in your model. So when I let up on my mouse button, you can see how that grid kind of goes away. But what this is doing is this is coming in here and this is taking a cut across my model straight up and down. So you can see how I can still see my kitchen in here. I can see my walls and stuff like that. Um, but it's just basically taking a cut at this elevation. Well now. We would just go in and do the exact same thing that we did before, where we would go into photo mode. We'd navigate right over the top of our model. So something like this. And interesting that fire doesn't seem to actually be in the fireplace. Um, but we would uh, navigate until we're straight up and down like this. If there's a depth of field effect, you can go ahead and you can disable that. And then we would just adjust that focal length to 300. We'd adjust our height to something like 150, or we may need to go even higher than that. 150 is a good start because it gives you kind of a closer view in here of the inside of your building. And a lot of this depends on what you're trying to show. If we're just trying to show the footprint of this building, then we could definitely do this. Now, I don't know, you might be able to take a clipping plane and hide all this other stuff too. I'm not ultra worried about that for this demonstration. Um, but we could do the same thing where we would just adjust our sun with the height and the heading until we get the shadows that we want. And you can see how you can set this up to give you shadows um, inside of your footprint. You could also probably turn that off and probably turn off shadow if you just wanted this to be a straight up and down plan view with the section cut. So let's go ahead and render that. So if we take this, we render this, and we can call this one plan view. And I'm not sure why I called the other one elevation view because that was actually also a plan view. But we'll go ahead and call this one plan view and we'll just let it render out. And you can see how this renders and it gives you a nice kind of floor plan view of your building right here. And I kind of wonder if there's something we could do to add outlines. Maybe something like this. So you might be able to add in outlines this way. You could also add some in by using the cartoon settings or something like that if you wanted more lines across here. And so that's a good way to get kind of a plan view with the section cut across it so you can see your walls and things like that. And then the last thing I wanna talk about, I'm gonna go back to my other model real quick. So I'm gonna load my scene with this model. All right, so we're back to our LA house model, and what I wanted to show you is how you can create an elevation view. Um, we've already created a plan view um, from the top looking down. Now I wanted to show you how to create an elevation view. And so what you would do is it's very similar to the process you followed before, where you would go into photo mode, and uh, you would create a view kind of like we did before, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and store my camera and copy my effects across, so I'll just do a copy effects, this might not even be the effect that I want to use, but we'll start with that one. And we'll paste our effects, and then we would do the same thing where we would create a front-on view like this, and we would just take our focal length, and we would just turn that up to 300. And then we would do the same thing where we kind of fly backwards. 
until we could see our whole building. And that depth of field effect is still kind of messing us up, so we'll turn that off. So the problem with this that you might have noticed is we've got some trees and vegetation that are in the way. So they're blocking everything in this view. And so there's probably a couple different ways that you could do this. Um, one way is you might actually be able to use the clipping plane in order to clip this forward. Like I said, that's not really working in this rendering or this model for some reason. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to save my camera view so that we can come back to it. And then I'm going to go back into build mode and I'm just going to take those trees that are blocking us and I'm just going to put them on their own layer. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click in here to do select. I'm going to click on the option for nature and I'm just going to hold the control key and click and drag. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to drag a section or a selection box across this that I can use in order to select all of these different items. So I'm going to take all of these items and I'm holding a control shift to add to that selection. And then I'm just going to take a layer like layer four and I'm just going to put all of these on that layer. So now I can turn those on and off. And I can also, um, if I miss a couple the first time around, I can go in and select some more and then also move that to that layer and they'll turn off because they're on um, because I'm moving them onto an off layer they'll automatically turn off and then if you want to get them back you can just turn that back on here so now if we go back into our photo mode and we restore this camera you can see how we get a nice elevation view of our building that we can then export so and for this one, I might make a few adjustments. Like I might come in here and I might add a sun in order to adjust some shadows in here. Maybe get some shadows across the face of my building. Um, maybe adjust this uh, sun heading, something like that. The other thing I might do is I might come in here and adjust the color temperature a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit a little bit yellow to me um, and that may be more of a preference thing. I may adjust this brightness down a little bit and turn the contrast up to get a contrast between um, the colors and the shadows and things like that. So you can definitely make some fine adjustments and other things like that. You can adjust your shadow ranges and other things like that. But then we can go ahead and we can render this. We can call it something like elevation view front and you can see how that's going to render out kind of a nice uh, front elevation view. I'm getting some weird distortion here on this door so we'd probably have to mess with that a little bit just to see if we could do something about that. But and that may have to do with just having some Z fighting in this door. We may have to fix that in the SketchUp model. But that still gives us a pretty nice front elevation view of our building that then uh, you could export out with like a, to like Photoshop or something like that with the material IDs and uh, things like that. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you been able to export elevations and plan views from Lumion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.